The countdown for India's Independence Day this year has begun. India will be celebrating her 76th anniversary of freedom and 77th year of independence this 15th of August. Since her independence, India has come a long way in various fields and today the country stands as a testament to innovation and groundbreaking developments. But India's space exploration programs are unrivaled in the entire world. From humble beginnings of rocket science in the country to contemporaneous trail-blazing space missions, India is at the forefront of space exploration. As the Independence Day approaches, we take a look at some of the most crucial and important space missions that ISRO has lined up. Missions that are ongoing as well as those that are in store in the coming days. Chandrayaan-3, India's third lunar mission lifted off into space on July 14 and it entered into lunar orbit on August 5. The lander, Vikram, is slated for soft landing on 23rd August. There are three more de-orbiting maneuvers left, exercises to bring it closer to the moon so that Vikram lands on the lunar surface on August 23. These de-orbiting maneuvers will be performed on August 9, August 14 and August 16 till its orbit reduces to 100 km into 100 km from the moon. While the mission is not a replica of Chandrayaan-2 which crash landed on the moon, it will use its predecessor's orbiter which is already hovering above the lunar surface. The mission's propulsion module will carry the lander and rover configuration to an orbit that is about 100 km above the moon's surface. The module is also carrying a shape payload to study the spectral and polarimetric measurements of Earth from the lunar orbit. After the successful soft landing, India will become the first country in the world to have achieved a soft landing on the lunar surface. The next important one in line is the Aditya L1 mission. This would be the first observatory class space-based solar mission from India. The Aditya L1 mission will be placed in the Lagrange point 1, that is L1. The L1 point of the Earth to Sun system provides an uninterrupted view of the Sun and is currently home to the solar and heliospheric observatory satellite of NASA. This position provides a greater advantage of observing solar activities continuously. Aditya L1 will carry seven payloads to observe the photosphere, chromosphere and the outermost layers of the sun that is the corona using electromagnetic and particle detectors. Four payloads will directly view the sun from the unique vantage point of L1 and the remaining three will carry out in situ studies of particles and fields at the Lagrange point L1. The next crucial one will be a joint mission of ISRO and NASA that will be launched in 2024. The acronym for the mission is NISAR which stands for NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar. NISAR will observe almost every region of our planet at least once every 12 days, providing valuable insights into the dynamics of forests, wetlands and agricultural lands among other aspects. The spacecraft will consist of an S-band radar and an L-band instrument with the latter having the capability to penetrate dense forest canopies. Both sensors would be capable of collecting data day and night by operating through clouds. The dual band synthetic aperture radar will operate with swift SAR technique to achieve large swath with high resolution data. Fourth is Gaganyaan. First conceived in 2007 but announced in 2018, Gaganyaan will be a crewed orbital spacecraft intended to demonstrate the nation's human spaceflight capabilities, conduct experiments in microgravity and pave the way for future space exploration missions and put Indian astronauts back in space. The target for the first crewed mission involves the development of a new spacecraft which would carry a crew of two to three astronauts into low Earth orbit and bring them back safely. Gaganyaan is intended to further national inspiration for space exploration, aiming to make India the fourth country in the world to achieve human spaceflight capacity after the United States, Russia and China. It is also aimed to enhance India's technological capabilities in space and renew the interest of the country's youth in science and technology and aerospace.